Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So this video is like long awaited video. I can't tell you how excited I've been. I got, okay. So I got this palette in the mail on Friday? I think it was Friday. So I've had this palette since Friday. And it is now, okay. I've had the palette since Friday. It is now Tuesday and I have not used it yet. I've only swatched it just because, you know, who wouldn't swatch it? Who, who, who's gonna have that much self-control? So anyways, let me shut up and just tell you what I'm talking about. It is the long-awaited, the long-awaited Jaclyn Hill palette slash Morphe palette review, demo, swatches. I cannot, I cannot explain how excited I've been for this palette. I didn't get it the first time around because I was like broke, as usual. Um, and the second time around, my girlfriend actually bought it for me. So shout out to you. It's just it's still in the cardboard box. You've seen millions of these videos probably already. So here's another one. <laughs> so it just has her pictures on the back. It's just so cute. And get into this video. If you want to see swatches tutorial, demo, review, then please keep watching and yeah, let's get into it. So just taking it out of the box, first impressions, um, it is gorgeous. Here's the little card with the names on it. Okay, so it comes with the slip with the names on it. I'm probably going to end up taping it in there like most of the people have been doing just for like filming purposes so I know what I'm using. But right off the bat, it is just a really cute white packaging with like silver lettering in her name, which is typical Jacqueline. The back says Morphe times Jacqueline Hill, and then it has like a bunch of her little, her little initial stamp on the back of it. I can see how it would get dirty. I know a lot of people have been complaining that it's going to get dirty because it's white packaging. But let me just show you. This might have a rock. Mega Pro 3 palette and this, let me see if you can get it. This is so dirty. Look at that. It's the same exact thing and this is Lorac. This is Morphe. So don't just think just because it's Morphe they didn't give a shit about the packaging. Lorac has white packaging too. This got a mess too. This is cardboard too. So the packaging, really, I'm not gonna throw a foot about like a lot of people have about it getting dirty. It's just what's gonna happen. And then you open it up, and yes, I've already swatched it, so if that's why it looks a little messy, I'll kinda win it. So it just comes with this clear thing to protect them. And this is the palette right here. It is so, it's so much prettier in person. like online it just doesn't like it's pretty color selection but you can't really see like how creamy and buttery these look until you get them in person this is what it looks like and it's just so beautiful she did so good i haven't tested on the eyes yet so we'll just wait to the review till the end of the video but for now just looking at them and swatching them and feeling how creamy they were Dare to die for. It has a array, it has like your little fun colors right here. It has your warm transition colors down there. It does have like brow bone highlights and inner corner highlights. Um, it does have some like rose gold tones over here, pinky tones. It's got like fall festive colors right here. It's got like green colors down here. And it's got loads of like really pretty foiled shimmery colors. And then these pops of colors over here are just so pretty. Right here it just says this palette is dedicated to all my loving subscribers. Thanks, boo. Why don't you get right into the swatches? And yeah, just let's see how this puppy swatches. And I don't necessarily go off swatches. Um, yeah, swatches are nice to see and they look they can look pretty or they can look bad on the arm. But until you start testing them and blending them out you really don't know how they're going to perform. So the 
take these swatches with a grain of salt, not that they're not going to be pretty, I'm just saying don't knock it till you try it basically. So let's get into the swatches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch the first row first and we're just going to do it row by row. So how I swatch it is I just roll it around about three times in there. I don't go barely put it in because who the fuck, what? Who, who swatches like that? Like when you get a palette who literally goes and it's like, oh, yeah, it's pigmented. No that shade right here is in light. Shade is B. And it's just a little more yellow tone than this one. The color Silk Cream. M-F-E-O. I have a frosty color and it is called Faint. That one's really pretty. And this one is supposed to be like a duochrome, if I remember correctly. Row is called Little Lady. So that is the first row of swatches. This first color we have is Creamsicle. The shade we have is Butter. Next one is called Fooder. This next shade is called Pukey, which is everyone's dream baby puke color. The next one is called Hunts, which is a really popular one in the palette. It's really pretty. It is Firework. Last one is called Queen, which is so pretty. Oh, look at that. Are you, are you dying? Because I'm dying. This is the second row. Okay, so moving on to the third row. This next shade is called Obsessed. This pretty is SBN, which I believe stands for Smoky But Natural, called Hilster. <gasps> yep, that's it. So the next shade is Rock Sand. And then the next one is Jax. This one is Buns. This one is Cran Apple, which is a beautiful cranberry color. And this is the third row. The fourth row is Royalty. I want to know. I, I just want to talk. I saw a couple people swatch this color and it was like nothing there. So I want to know like what's going on. Is Twerk, which is another personal favorite. Now I've heard people having trouble with this one. It's very pretty, but it's definitely not as like intense as this one, Royalty. This next one is Hustle. This next one is Minx. 24-7, and this is the one I believe that has like, it's supposed to have glitter in it. Next one is Chip. Focus. The last one in the fourth row is Mocha. And this is the fourth row. So the first one, the fifth row, is Pool Party, which is... Okay, so that's beautiful. It is Jada, Eva. The fourth one is Enchanted. So the next one is Central Park, and this one is Soda Park. Last one is Abyss, which is the black in the palette. So this is the fifth row. Okay, so you saw how they swatched. Um, for the most part, they all swatch beautifully. Obviously, the shimmers are going to swatch more um, consistent versus like mattes because it's obviously not creamy consistency. Not creamy, but it's not like held together with the same formula. I don't know what I was trying to say. As far as I can tell, the mattes swatch beautifully. Um, they're really creamy and buttery, as you've probably heard a million times in these reviews. Now we're going to get in the fun part. We're going to jump into the tutorial. Um, I still have been staring at these colors, and there's that's the thing about this palette, is there's so many looks that you can do with this palette that I don't know what I want to do, if that makes any sense. So, oh, I don't know why that makes sense. So it's really versatile in that sense that you have a lot of different color ranges, you have a lot of different lid colors, transition colors, 
Um, do I think there's like four or five that are really similar? Yes, that she probably could have like switched out with maybe a different color. But I think being in her head, I think she was trying to complement different skin tones the best way possible and they just came out looking a little too similar. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and stop blabbering and jump into the tutorial. I'm going to go on with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer just to prime my eyelids. I'm just going to take my Cody Airspun Powder, my translucent powder, and set the eyelids with that. So I'm first going to start with Silk Cream as my transition color. And it does have a lot of kickback, I don't know if you can see that. But kickback doesn't bother me as long as it's pigmented and it does its job. I don't care if it's kickback, so that is not a factor for me. So I'm just going to take that into my crease as my transition color once I get all this hair off. I'm taking my Morphe R37. going to go into Creamsicle, which is obviously just like a warm tangerine kind of color. And I'm going to... Did I dip my finger in We're going with my Sigma E40 because I feel like that Morphe brush isn't picking up the color properly. So I'm just going to see if my Sigma E40 does the job. Yeah, that's a lot better. Denser brush, this is for a tapered uh, crease brush. And we're going to take Pukey, which is obviously just this Pukey mustardy color right here. And like I said, it is having a lot of kickback, but that's not an issue for me. Perform well, then that's fine. And I'm just packing it on the outer corner and I'm just taking it into the crease as well. back with my Sigma E40 just to blend all these colors together. I'll go into is Hunts, which I don't know why because Hunts is a ketchup brand and this kind of reminds me of like a red, like a orange juice ketchup. So it kind of, that's how I remember the name actually. Let's see how this darker color performs. Oh, okay. Yep. She's there. She is there and she is right up on me. good to try to blend between each step so they don't get muddy. So I'm going to go into Jack's next which is like a maroon shake and I'm going to take a pencil brush. This is I believe Morphe, yeah. It's R41 and I'm going to start putting that on the outer and inner corner and then like a little bit into the crease. And with no extra product, um, with my E25 from Sigma, and it just has that Hunt's color on it, and I just kind of merge the colors together. Oh, this is where we're at so far. It's going to be really pretty. Um, I think, okay, I'm going to try to use like all these colors, so if it doesn't hot mess, I'm sorry. But we're gonna go in with twerk. We're gonna see how it performs. I'm first gonna try it with a flat brush. If it doesn't perform how I want it to, I'm gonna go in with my finger, okay? Okay, flat brush with my setting spray, my Urban Decay All Nighter. Just because I do that with all my shimmer shades. Twerk. 
it. Okay, I'm not mad at it. It doesn't have the setting spray. It's not wanting to spray as much. We'll work on it. This is really color. Really color. This is a really pretty color. I'm just putting that all over the center of the lid. Instead of all over the lid, it's mainly on the center of the lid. Going mm -hmm. back in my pencil brush again, repeating the same steps. I'm just packing that Jack's color on the outer corner. I'm going to take Chip. And I'm going to put that in the outermost corner just to define it a little more so you can kind of see the blue just in the center. I was going to do winged eyeliner, but I kind of don't want to now because I don't want the blue to disappear. Which is right here and I'm going to pop that on my brow bone just to bring some light to that oh girl that is pretty yes oh that is so cute I like that I like it a lot I am pretty much done with the top part of my eye I am going to wipe off all this excess uh, shadow and I'm going to finish my face and then I'm going to come back and finish my lower lash line and finish up my thoughts okay so I will be right back guys I am back so now I'm going to I wanted to come back on here and do my lower lash line going with um, my, this Urban Decay Jean Michael collection um, eyeliner it's just like a, a teal um, pencil and I'm just going to throw that on my lower lash line. Um, I got this for $10 at clearance on inside of this four inside JCPenney so winning. Okay so now that I have that on my waterline I'm going to go in with Jada. I'm just going to smudge that out on the lower lash line using a Sephora smudge brush. I'm just gonna take full party now. Just with, I'm gonna take that same pointed brush. I'm gonna pop that right in the inner corner. Also used both of the highlight shades in here, but like the brow bone in the inner corner, I actually used it on my complexion and it looks really pretty. On a tiny little pointed brush, I'm just going to take just a little bit of a little bit of in light. Just barely put some on there and I'm just gonna put some just like in the very center of the pool party one. Just to bring some light to that part right center of my hair corner. I'm going to pop some lashes on real quick, mascara and lashes, and I will be right back with my final thoughts. Alright guys, I am back and I finished the eyes and I finished, I put my lashes on off camera, did my lips, everything else. So I am going to zoom you into the final look and then I will give you my final thoughts. <laughs> final eye look so now we're going to jump into my final thoughts of this palette and then that'll wrap up this long ass video that I've been filming for two hours now see I'm already getting this dirty no. so all in all um some of like the transition colors I noticed they didn't they blended beautifully but they didn't show up on the eyes as much as I wanted them to like first my makeup geek eyeshadow palettes like I said there is some of the cons there is fallout um i don't know if you can tell from right here 
um, their powder in the sense that there is fallout, but I will say they do blend beautifully. Um, I didn't have any trouble blending any of these colors out. I didn't have any skipping. Um, I didn't have any issues like that as far as pigmentation. Now Twerk, which is that like electric cobalt blue, that one, um, it didn't come up as pigmented as I was expecting it to, like compared to like the swatches that she showed. But nonetheless, it is a beautiful color. This is a beautiful palette. Um, I see myself using this all the time. Now I did notice side note um, on this look, I did notice that this look is very similar to kind of like Lauren Curtis's tutorial. I don't know if you know that. If you know me, you know her. She's a UK YouTuber, beauty guru, whatever. I was doing this look and then I, I looked at it and I was like, this looks really familiar. Look at her video and like to see, I couldn't remember like exactly what her look looked like, but I knew it was similar. And so there was a few things that were similar as far as like using like the blues and the, the warm colors and then like, um, we'll party on the inner corner, but I did do some stuff differently. Um, I didn't put the blue everywhere on my lid. I just did like a halo eye with it. Um, I did bring the pool party. I kind of, I didn't do it as precise as her. I kind of just blew it out. And then I did put like a liner on the bottom with the jade color or Jada color, excuse me. So you might see some similarities. I did not do that on purpose, I promise. These were just the colors that I was drawn to to make this video. So let's just put that beside before I get any comments that says it looks similar, because it is a little similar. So overall, all in all, I love this palette. I definitely love like these two colors together. The um, Hunts and Jacks, those are like so pretty together. These two right here. So many more colors I want to use. Use the shimmer colors down here, like the brow bone highlights. Like that is like such a pretty brow bone highlight color. I used it for my highlight all over. So I definitely think you get multi-use out of this palette. As far as traveling, I don't know if I'll use it as traveling just for the sake of not wanting to break it. <laughs> Um, I will say though, I probably would have preferred because she was going to come out with a Makeup Geek eyeshadow collab palette and I think I would have much rather her come out with Makeup Geek because I know my Makeup Geek eyeshadows, I know how they perform and they're consistent with their formulas whereas Morphe has been can, like really bomb on some palettes and inconsistent with other palettes. So I probably would have preferred like this palette but formulated and worked with Makeup Geek but you know, that's not a big deal either. I'm just so proud of her. I love this palette. Do I think it's worth the $38? You get 35 eyeshadows. So what is that, like a dollar an eyeshadow? Less than a dollar an eyeshadow. So I definitely think it's worth it. If you're just shipping anywhere out of the United States, it's gonna be expensive. Morphe's shipping is ridiculous. I don't like that about Morphe, um, but that's Morphe. Um, we can't change that. All in all, I do think it's worth the money for it. Um, I want to thank Babe for getting it for me. And I'm so happy that I got my hands on it. I'm going to definitely be making more tutorials with this. You might get sick of seeing it because that's probably all I'll use in my next couple tutorials. And yeah, so that is my final thoughts. I think it's worth it. It's beautiful. You rock, Jacqueline. I'm so proud of you. And yeah, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this little chit chat swatch video. I'm talking a lot in it. <laughs> so if you don't like me talking, you might not like it. It's really fun playing with this palette. I'm so proud of Jacqueline. And that is all I'm gonna say for this video. You guys have a great day or night wherever you are and leave me any comments down below if you have any questions about anything. And I'll be happy to answer them. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and you hit that subscribe button because I would love to have more of you guys part of this family and growing with me and yeah i just i just love all of you guys so much and i will see you in the next video bye